And now I'm very, very happy to welcome journalist, campaigner and presenter, Paris Lees. Hello! First they came to the Muslims, and I did nothing because I wasn't a Muslim. Then they came for the transgender people. I didn't do anything because I wasn't transgender. Then they came for the Mexicans. I didn't do anything because I wasn't Mexican. And then they came for me and there was nobody there to defend me. Donald Trump has done and has said some disgusting things over the past couple of years. But it's no surprise to me that among the many marginalised groups that he's targeted, one of the first people that he chose to go after their rights was transgender people. He tried to ban transgender people from the military, saying that this was uh, a financial decision, that trans people were a problem. Uh, despite the fact that the military in the US spent five times as much on Viagra as it would on medical gender transition for the, you know, the potential number of people in the US Army. So, <clears throat> It's all very well to, to protest Trump's agenda today. Um, his, his racism, his homophobia, his misogyny, his transphobia, his xenophobia. But it's all very well giving ourselves a pat on the back, but we have to look closely at the anti-trans movement here at home. Because... It's, it's considered respectable debate. You know, for Jermaine Greer to say, just because she put on a dress and not puffy dick doesn't make you a fucking woman. <laughs> Jenny Murray repeats the same as she cast doubt on the suicide figures for trans youth, which study after study after study around the world reveals young trans people are highly vulnerable, subject to bullying and vulnerable to self-harm and suicide. She gets four pages in the Sunday Times to talk about, you know, trans women aren't real women. So, so, I have a message. If there's anybody here today who is protesting Trump's agenda, who's actively trying to remove rights from trans people in this country, I've got two words for you. Fuck off. and how allowing me to change my legal documentation can lead to all these problems and danger of women. Um, yeah. um, and there's, there's no evidence for this whatsoever. So, you know, I don't want to be divisive. If, if, if you want to stand here in solidarity with me, with Muslim women, with sex workers, with disabled people, with working class people, spoken over by the establishment in this country. Together we can push back against this regressive, uh, bigoted and frankly cruel Trumpism and make sure they don't take hold in this country. Trans rights are human rights. 